kidding, Chris here. Um, supplemental update for May. Uh, my last video I posted that uh, I was finding a lot of reptilian uh, types of energies with, within us. Um, more so that the, the soul and, and the DNA within us is, is got reptilian uh, components still within it. So basically what, what I found, uh, continuing from last time, is, is that yes, we at one time were a reptilian soul, a reptilian entity on the planet Reptilia or whatever it is. We chose to come here to participate in the ascension because we wanted to ascend to a higher consciousness. Okay, so of course now there's reptilian insurgents who say, no, 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 you can't do this. And we are getting these, what a lot of people would consider is attacks. A lot of poking and prodding, a lot of bad things happening within their bodies, a lot of trouble in their life, okay? So if you can kind of realize that, look at your life and say, I could certainly see that. All right, so what I've been finding is, is that a lot of us have reptilian DNA in certain areas of our body. So if you have a chronic health issue, what I've been doing is removing that reptilian DNA from that area of the body, finding it in other areas, and, and more so a lot within our carbon structure, our carbon atoms, uh, moving that reptilian DNA out of there, going into our DNA, the, the DNA, and finding it in different spots, moving it out. Okay, just simple, reptilian DNA false. So once that has all been cleared out, what we do next is uh, we take the soul and offer it asylum on earth and within humanity. Soul, asylum within humanity and earth, true. That has been now done. So what is next for the, for the clearing is to ask the Lord of Sacred Geometry to connect the DNA and soul to the human template. What this is gonna do is, is uh, uh, program the DNA and the soul with a full human set of programming, okay? Human codes. This is going to uh, facilitate manifestation. It's gonna facilitate well-being. It's gonna facilitate love, okay? So, so that is the, the, the basis of, of the clearings, okay? And it gets deeper than that. Everybody's different. So you have to douse and, and certainly find out what's going on within that specific person. Uh, now, what is also coming up is the black goo, the artificial intelligence. So I've been finding that a lot within people, within certain chromosomes of the DNA, more so the third pair of chromosomes. I've been finding a lot of that. And then you also look throughout the person and, uh, and find more of it. I've been finding it within the intuition, the higher self, anywhere that, that, would, um, that would be considered uh, a, a control center. So the subconscious, all these different areas can be the black goo. It's very simple, move it out, black goo false. Okay, so, so that, that has been working really well. Now, along with the reptilian DNA within our bodies, there's gonna be a lot of autoimmune antibodies. Because of course, our human DNA is trying to fight this, this intruder, this, this uh, DNA that, that should not be there. So once you get rid of all of that, find the trouble area and, and uh, remove all of the uh, autoimmune antibodies, okay? It's just, you can tell the autoimmune system to stop. So that has been working very well. Now I found something interesting today. Um, I, I have uh, somebody who's uh, buying uh, my products wholesale. If you're a practitioner, if you have a practice and you want to buy wholesale, contact me. I'm more than willing to, to facilitate and, and, and help out, okay? It's about getting all this stuff out and helping humanity. Uh, this person always saw the number 33, okay? For me, it was always 1001. And I, I found my awakening and now 1001 has stopped. So uh, this person asked, what does the number 33 mean to me? And what I found uh, today is, is that what it, what it means is that um, the, the, the dimension of love is dimension number 33. We are now in the seventh dimension, so we got a little ways to go in order to get right to the, the, the brass ring. So, so that, that was interesting in itself. And the 33 in numerology has a lot of high vibrational meanings uh, uh, and that type of thing. So it's, it's been an interesting few days. Um, I wanted to take a couple of weeks with this whole reptilian DNA clearing and, and all those connections to, to make sure that it's valid. Because sometimes a clearing comes to me, we do it for a bit and it's gone. It does, it's not relevant. We just try something out. 
So this has been brought and it's working like crazy. And it makes a lot of sense on so many different levels. So uh, give it a try with your charts. Look for the reptilian DNA within a person. Transmute it to human. Ask Lord of Sacred Geometry to connect the person to the human template. Now, of course, you may get different findings and different ways of doing it, which is perfectly fine. That's, that's how this system works. Everybody's different in, in their consciousness and their higher self as to how things are put together. So take that information, <laughs> roll it up, and, and see what see what smokes, okay? <sighs> Onward and upward as always. Chris Kaler, we are out of here.